tough YouTube. Hey, I love it. Another video. Oh man, I'm tired. I had a horrible fucking sleep. Horrible fucking sleep, man. I got a fucking killer headache. I gotta be at work till six, and it's like, oh man. Ugh, sometimes you just can't sleep, especially with all the fucking noise in the morning. I'm one of those light sleepers, man. When I'm awake, like it's so fucking hard for me to go to sleep. But anyway. I wanted to do a topic on, you know, being friends with other religions. You know, I'll do that at another time. I'm going to do something else. Kind of similar. It's uh, being friends with sinners. And you know, there's a bunch of Christians who are friends with sinners. Like a bunch of Christians who are friends with sinners. They say, oh, I don't partake in this stuff. But I am good friends with them. That's a sin. That is a sin. You're going against God's law when you do that. And I'm going to tell you why. You know. Like that scripture says. Which I'm sure it's going to be in this list. I don't fucking know. But it says. I don't even remember the scripture. I quote this one like all oh, the damn time. When you become friends with the wise, you become wise and you prosper in the name of God. When you befriend with fools, you will become, you will end in sorrow in the name of God. You can type what I just typed and the scripture will come up. But yeah, I do quote that script a lot. Basically what that script is saying you need to keep your surroundings holy as possible. Holy as possible. I mean, it has to be top-notch holy. Okay? If you're not doing that, you're only benefiting yourself by going to hell. That's all you're doing. You know? No one wants to go to hell, you know? Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. <laughs> Yeah, no one wants to go to hell, man. No one. So, best your best bet is probably to just break off the relationship with those sinners. And you know. All right. So, let's get into this. Gonna read the scriptures. I'm sorry, guys. I'm very tired, but. Shit, I'm trying to wake myself up because, man, you know, when I come to work, I'm like the life of the party. I like making people laugh and shit, smile, you know, and it's fucking hard to do when you got a damn headache on your motherfucking brain. <laughs> Probably like fucking down some fucking sweet tea while I'm there and be like, okay, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> I need a chocolate bar. Chocolate bars usually cure my headaches, no joke. But yeah, let's get into the scriptures, man. Chapter 2 of Corinthians, uh, 6 through 14. Bah, bah, bah. Okay, it says, Do not be unequally yoked with unbelievers. For what partnership has righteousness with lawlessness? Or what fellowship has light with darkness? Basically, what that's saying is, don't be fooled by unbelievers believing that they are your friend. Believing that you will not give in by hanging out with them. He says don't be fooled by that. Because what righteous person becomes friends with someone who is so lawless? That meaning, you know, they don't... They don't follow God's law. They're lawless. They don't have any laws to follow. They just go by their own life. But you don't. Remember, you're one of the righteous. You're a righteous follower of God. You can't hang with people like that. Or what fellowship has light with darkness? That means, like, that's like, okay, Jesus Christ 
being close buddies with Lucifer, basically, you know, in the Christian context, you know. Jesus Christ would not be seen with Lucifer because Lucifer rebelled against God, correct? But if Jesus Christ was like best buddies with him, Jesus is going to go to hell for what he did. You get what I'm saying? You can't keep fellowship with someone who has light, light being you, and being friends with someone with darkness. You know what I mean? That's what that scripture reads, and you can look that up. Chapter 2, Corinthians 6 through 14. Alright, and we got, um, we got, uh, chapter 1, Corinthians uh, 9, 22. To the weak I became weak, that I might win the weak. I have become all things to all people, that by all means I might have some. Basically, what this is saying, you know, to the weak I became weak. Uh, that I might win the weak. Well, shit. That means to the weak I became weak, that I might win the weak. Trying to trying to find a way to word this. I'm pretty sure you guys can see what it's saying. I'm hoping. Whatever. I'm gonna skip that one. Um. Fuck. I couldn't I couldn't find a way to word that one. But I mean, I understood it. If you can't, if you don't understand it, I can't fucking. I can't help you there. I'm um, sorry. My brain's like fucking... Because it's early in the morning. Okay. John chapter 7, 16 through 18. So Jesus answered them. My teaching is not mine, but his who sent me. If anyone's will is to do God's will, he will know whether the teaching is from God or whether I am speaking on my own authority. The one who speaks on his own authority seeks his own glory, but the one who seeks the glory of him who sent him is true. And in him there is no falsehood. So what this one's saying is, uh, my teaching is not mine, but his who sent me, his who sent me being God, you know, he sent you to life, he sent you to earth. If anyone's will is to do God's will, that means you are willing to devote your life to God and do everything that God's law says to do. He will know whether the teaching is from God. Or whether I am speaking on my own authority. He will know if you are following God's authority. Or your own authority. He will know this. That means all that selfish shit a lot of Christians do in life. And you know, they say, oh, we're all born sinners, you know. We can't help it. Yes, you can. You just say no. It's fucking simple. Like I say, I've been saying no for the fucking, I don't know how many years. And I'm not even Christian, you know. But, um, you know. Um, but if you're doing everything by God's authority... You're going to be good in God's eyes. If you're not doing anything on God's authority and you're doing it on your own authority, you're going to have falsehood. The one who speaks on his own authority seeks his own glory. That means someone who does not live by God's law, someone who does not live by what the Bible teaches, someone who lives by their own selfish needs. You're going for your own glory. You're not going for God's glory. But the one who seeks the glory of him who sent him is true. 
That means if you're the one who seeks glory of God, the God who sent you, if you're going by His glory, you are true. And in Him, that means you, there is no falsehood. That means there is no, nothing fake about you. You're a true Christian. You're a true son of God. So if you live by that, you're good to go. But the thing is, a lot of Christians, dude, a lot of Christians end up going selfish. I'm not saying all Christians. Like I said, I've met a, I met some Christians who are actually really devoted. Where they don't touch horror movies, they don't touch comedy movies, they don't touch any of that shit. They don't touch mainstream music. They don't touch any of that shit. They were some true motherfuckers. But a lot of Christians are fucking hypocrisy, man. They're a hypocrisy. And that's like a high percentage of the Christian faith. For example, man, I was fucking trolling some pages, man, on Facebook. You know, these sexually explicit pages. Now, you know, I have my own statistics on those pages. A lot of those people are claim Christians, but they're, they're fucking... They don't fit the standard of a Christian church. They go to church and shit. But, you know. Because I have a lot of a lot of them on my friends list, you know. And they like these pages. I was just going by what they were commenting and shit. And I would comment, you know, this picture of Jesus. And I'll tell you. Hey, guys. Do you remember me? Or did you forget me? I can't tell if you're trolling me or not. Um, you know, uh, the guy who died for your sins. <laughs> Do you remember me? <laughs> and it's just a picture of Jesus just hanging on the cross. I, I put that on several last pages, dude. <laughs> no comment on them so far. Probably because they're either atheists or they don't give a shit about religion or they're, they just been busted. <laughs> Ta -da! Alright, so in Mark uh, chapter 2, 17, And when Jesus heard it, he said to them, Those who are well have no need of a physician, but those who are sick, I came not to call the righteous, but sinners. What this basically means is, um, and when Jesus heard it, he said to them, Those who are well have no need of a physician that means those who are living under God you don't need proper guidance because you already know the laws that you are standing by you already know God's law you already know that when you chose to be Christian you chose to devote your life to God's law and God's law only not your own law but those who are sick, I came not to call the righteous, but sinners. Those who are sick, those are the people who do not live by God, who do not devote their life to God at all. They want to just live their life as happy as possible. Being selfish and, you know, not doing anything God puts down, you know. Sure, some of those people might, you know, go to church and shit, but they still turn to be sick, you know. A lot of them Christians nowadays, man, they're going to be two-faced. They're going to be two-faced. A lot of Christians are. It's hard to find some real true devotion, man, especially around my age. And that's how he became and called them sinners. He didn't call them righteous because they weren't righteous. They weren't following the law of God. You know, they were, they were being sinners. <sighs> I think I pretty much, you know, covered all this up. This is going to be a 15 minute video. I'm sorry guys, my head is just not here right now, you know. Like I couldn't. Couldn't fucking translate that one script because my fucking head is just fucking headache, you know. My thought process is fucked up right now. But, you know, I still did a good cover-up, you know. I, I still did a good attack on this subject, you know. So, if I helped you, you know, 
you want to change up your friends now because you know I opened your eyes up to what's true in the Christian context. Go ahead, man. You do that. You be you. Just don't be a hypocrite, you know. I cannot stand hypocrisy. Why why would people claim Christian when they're such a fucking hypocrite? Like they don't follow the Bible at all, you know. If I helped you, you know, say, well, my friends are more important than a religion and my happiness and my well-being is better than a religion. Well, good for you, man. You know, good. I'm glad. You know, my 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 channel is not to fucking convert you. My channel is to um kill the hypocrisy within Christian faith because it fucking sickens me whenever I see someone like dude like sometimes you know I blaspheme around people man like I blasphemed the other day man like I mean it was a pretty good blaspheme like I had a fucking great laugh at it and um you know my my friend she was like she was acting off like kind of offended like kind of scared a bit and I'm like I'm like don't tell me you I didn't I didn't say don't tell me you Christian because she does not fit the criteria of a Christian at all, you know. But, you know, if they would have, if she would have, like, told some people, you know, hey, man, he said this, and, blah, 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 and they would have came to me, I would have came out with some context. I would have put them in the place because, you know, I'm very well educated in the Bible. I'm very well educated in Scripture. I love studying religion. You don't want to debate with me, basically. You don't want to debate with me. Because... Basically, I read the Bible for the fucking negativity shit that's in it. And it's like, all throughout the Bible, it's nothing but negativity. There's like a low percentage of positivity, but there's like a high percentage of negativity. Which is why I don't get why there's so many followers. But shit, whatever man, whatever floats your boat. As long as you're not a hypocrite, that's all that matters man. Anyway, get out. I gotta work soon. I gotta work till 6, bro. Ah! But I ain't complaining, dog. I ain't complaining. This, that's great hours right there, bro. Ugh, I'm just tired as a motherfucker. Ugh. Anyway, peace.